Okay, so I'm here outside Morningside Community. I got my e-bike here and my camera set up. I noticed that on Google Maps, you can't really go into this community. You can't take a preview. Uh, what I'm thinking is that the, the Google Maps car with the camera turret was too scared to go in there because I saw the guard shack and, and the gate. But this is, not a, this is not a private community. The public does have access to this community because there's a public park inside. There's Morningside Park. So the guard and the gate here is mainly just to document the license plates of the cars coming in and out and kind of be the, the deterrent for anything. But it's not a private community. So let's, let's go inside and check it out. I'm just going to wave it. So this neighborhood was founded in the 1920s. It was an envisioned as a exclusive residential community. So that's 1920s. That's 100 years ago. Think about it. It was an exclusive community a hundred years ago, and it's an exclusive community today, but it wasn't always like that. Um, during the 1970s, 1980s, the crime wave in Miami, and uh, the proximity to the downtown, the inner city, kind of made this area value go down. But now it's totally different. Now the proximity to the city is what makes the va what makes this area so valuable. You know, it's, this whole area, this whole east of I-95, it's been redeveloped. This is a perfect neighborhood. It's a Bayfront neighborhood. It's close to everything, all the Miami attractions. I mean, if you want to go to Miami Beach, the Julia Tuttle is just right around the corner. If you want to go to Wynwood, Midtown, I mean, I could practically get there on my bike from here. I mean, close to, relatively close to downtown Brickell. This is the heart of Miami, and this is a residential community. A lot of green spaces, a lot of amenities, a park. This whole neighborhood has a mix of Mediterranean, Art Deco and vernacular style houses that reflects the diversity and the direction of the architecture during the 1920s and 1930s. The historic district is, is on the north part of Morningside, like closer to 60th Street. So Morningside is basically from 50th to 60th. Take a look at the park. I mean, this is public. You don't have to be a resident of this neighborhood to enjoy this park. This is a public access park. And it's a spot for the local communities to come hang out, do their thing.
they got everything here. They got soccer courts, tennis courts, basketball courts. They got a pool. This track is like amazing if you're a jogger. I mean, that's just peace of mind. Let's go close to the water and check it out. Pretty nice scene over here. Check out the view. Bayfront. Some of these homes are bayfront too. Alright, let's go look at the homes. Let's go look at the houses over here. That's what's interesting. <laughs> Like I said, what I love about this neighborhood is the complete mix of architecture. And not all these houses were built in 1920s. You know, some of them were built in the 40s or the 50s. But the, uh, the historical ones are in this in this northern section, which we're at right now. This is the north part. Oh, and check this out. I don't know how this happened. This is like a, like a secret of this neighborhood. But in between all these beautiful homes, in between all these, you know, historic, large single family homes, we got <laughs> this little multi-family apartment right here. There's these two buildings, this one and this one right here. And man, it's it's a crazy little find. And if there's something available here for, for a rental, I would highly suggest it. This is a great neighborhood. I actually used to, uh, I know someone who used to live here in one of these apartments. It was a two bedroom. Pretty, pretty nice find, if you ask me. I mean, there's a multi, I don't know how it happened, and that they got it, you know, incorporated into this neighborhood, these little multi-family little apartment buildings right here. But, all right, let's look at some houses now.
is a Mediterranean style house right here. This, horn, this corner house right here, this little pink two-story two, uh, house with the white trim. This house was designed by Marion Manley. That's Miami's first female architect. This is the best neighborhood in Miami, hands down. In my honest opinion, you know, this is where I would choose to live if I was making the big bucks. Maybe you are. Maybe you need a real estate agent. Mm -hmm. I would be humble, yeah. I'll be honest, humble. I guess I'll end my video here. It was a nice little tour of the area, I think. This is uh, this pretty much captured what I wanted to show about this neighborhood. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Until next time, this is Gigi from Gigi Miami Homes. I'll see you later. So we just went on a tour of Morningside community. So you're probably wondering how much do these houses cost? How much does it cost to live here? So we're going to get into the pricing right now. So. 
For this, we're gonna take a look at my website. So you can do this at home actually, if you follow along. First, we're gonna to go to my website, and that is ggmiamihomes.com. Okay, and then we're gonna click on this advanced search button. Then we're gonna click on map search. Okay, so remember, Morningside is from 50th to 60th over here, Upper East Side. So we're gonna zoom in on that area. And then we're gonna click on this tool here so you can kind of highlight all the way to Biscayne. And all the way to Biscayne Bay. So that's it, these are all the homes in Morningside for sale. So we're gonna click now on property list so we can see them in order. So, okay, looks like there's about nine, 10 homes for sale in this area. The highest priced home appears to be this waterfront, beautiful home for 13,750,000. It's five bedroom, seven bathroom home. The lowest priced home appears to be 859,900. So under a million, okay, not bad. So whenever you come here, it's gonna ask you for to sign up. So you just put your name, your last name, your email. And your phone number. That's it. It looks like everything else is gonna be over a million. We got 1.2, 1.3, 1.5, 2.6. So yeah, these are pretty pretty expensive home, but this is a pretty exclusive community. Keep in mind, these are July of 2021 prices. So I don't know when in the future you might be watching this. So just keep in mind that this is not gonna be the most accurate, most up-to-date information. For that, you have to go to my website and then do the search. Let's look at, uh, see if there's any rentals in this area. So we need houses for rent. Let's check that out. So we're gonna click over here in big letters, all caps, it says rentals. So it knows to, to look for rentals and not homes for sale. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Advanced search, map search. And we're gonna zoom in right here in Morningside. Let's see. Doesn't appear to be any homes for rent within Morningside per se. There is this one house on the Lake Road. This is on the community right next to Morningside. It's still nice. Yeah, 40,000 a month. Has to be nice, right? <laughs> Get this beautiful five, six bedroom, five bathroom. Wow, okay. Yeah, waterfront. Here's a 12,000 12, a month. I mean, 40000 a month, that's like almost half a million a year. Okay, 12000 a month, not, not bad. Oh, five, 5800 These aren't in Morningside, but they're kind of close by. There's nothing right now in Morningside. Not bad. So anyways, this is my website. Come check it out if you want to take a look at homes. Uh, all you have to do is just put in your email and, and your password is your phone number and really that's pretty much it it's just you can create your own searches your own custom searches and you can save them and keep keep track and i can keep track of what you're looking at so i so i know you know what you're interested in so thank you for sticking around to the end of my video and for accompanying me on my tour of morningside community there will be more uh tours to come of other neighborhoods so be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more Miami real estate videos and information and news and services and everything 
contact me. I'm your person. Thank you. Have a good day.